I'm originally from Illinois. I say Chicago, Illinois, but I'm really from a suburb, northwest suburb of Chicago. So I'm from Illinois, and I moved out to Nashville in October of 2015. And the style of music I create, I would say that it's always, I'm, I'm constantly doing something new. I'd say I, I have new influences with everything that I write, everything new, like that's new that I write. And so <clears throat> I'd say that majority of the music that I do write keeps uh, like an acoustic folk alternative sound to it. I think it's just from uh, friends who have been always, who always played it, always had it on in their car and stuff, and it was stuff that inspired me. And so I think that's why it kind of latched on to my own songwriting. That and also just from music that my, my dad used to listen to and always have on when I was younger. And I think what motivates me to stay on the course, stay to the course, is um, just trying to grow more as a musician and not trying to sound like the artists that I do listen to and are inspired by, but to <clears throat> grow as, grow with my own music and, and to create original music that is mine um, and that, yeah, is unique. I'd say this new single that I released um, is different in a way that it's, it's a lot darker than some of the other material that I've put out and released. I think it's, um, I like to describe it as it's, it has like a melancholy feel to it. Um, and I think that's, that's kind of something that I set out to accomplish in the first place. It was to do something different. Um, cause a lot of my stuff was kind of sounding poppier on the acoustic folk side. It was a little bit more poppy music. And I think I wanted to write something that was more deeper and, um, so I think that that's that's what came out. I think as indie musicians, well, at least in the indie folk world, um, it's difficult to get noticed if you're not playing live. I see YouTube and social media. I mean, it's a helpful tool, but I also see it as something that's more useful to people who are extremely talented in a certain like instrument, especially like vocalists or um, guitar players, some people who have a um, more talent towards like in an actual instrument, I think are seen and um, like on YouTube and are, are uh, gain more popularity from that. And it's kind of hard to gain more exposure social on social media <clears throat> through songwriting because people don't, aren't patient enough to listen to songs. So. Um, I think it, as an indie musician, it, it is helpful, but it's also a challenge in that sense that no one has the patience to listen to a song. So it, it's kind of um, hitting the road and playing shows, and that's how I, I try to gain more exposure. It's helpful in the sense that it, it uh, connects me with everyone that listens to my music, and um, you know, I, I just played in Birmingham, and I'm able to still connect with those people from Birmingham, um, and so it's it's nice to be able to to connect with them and sit, like after playing and playing a show with them and um, or artists from Birmingham and being able to connect with them after and saying like hey let's book another show at a certain date or something like that. So it's I feel like um, technology is helpful in that in that sense. Follow me on. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Zach Canella, C-A-N-N-E-L-L-A, -L -L two N's, two L's. Um, I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all that good stuff. No, I think I got I got some tour dates that are gonna be up on my website. Um, Hopefully gonna be playing a lot in uh, in the summer. Um, so yeah, just the the dates and and thank you for the opportunity to to put this up on your site. And I don't know where I don't know where to go when the streets don't ring familiar names or acquainted routes. And I don't know where. 
I don't know where 